of ferry services and their staff. Of particular concern to me is the Cairn Ryan to Larn crossing in my constituency of Galloway and Western Fries. Uh, the Scottish Government need to take their transport resp responsibility serious with regards to Cairn Ryan, as this is a lifeline ferry service and a major employer in the South West. Can I ask if the First Minister is aware of the situation and what discussions, if any, the Scottish Government has had with P&O? And I ask for assurance that the Scottish Government will work constructively with the UK Government to ensure that both Stena and P&O can operate from Cairn Ryan long into the future. First Minister. Um, obviously, I am aware of what has been reported about an announcement that will come from P&O later today. We have uh, sought to engage with the UK Government uh, this morning uh, to seek further details. Uh, we will, of course, uh, seek to engage fully with P&O as more detail uh, emerge. Uh, obviously, for Scotland, uh, the relevant issue here is the Cairn Ryan uh, Larne route, um, and we will pay particular attention to any implications for that. That obviously supports a, a number of sailings uh, every day. Um, so we will keep Parliament updated as we get more detail. Um, obviously, we have to await uh, that detail, uh, but this will also be a seriously worrying time for those who work uh, for P&O. And I uh, certainly hope uh, that what we are seeing here, I know this has been a difficult time with the pandemic uh, for ferry operators, and I don't underestimate that, but I hope we are not uh, about to see uh, a mass scale fire and uh, rehire uh, situation. Uh, so this will be a worrying time for everybody um, and we will engage very closely with all those involved and of course keep Parliament fully updated.